Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Alex Sportman, a game developer, and uh, today we need to talk about uh, AI. You know, AI is now able to create games uh, as a prompt. You type whatever you want, and the AI will create it for you. Wow, that's that's freaking amazing. So I guess we're leaving our game engines behind. Uh, G Develop, Fluxy Fusion, Game Maker, Construct 3, or whatever, Unity, Real Engine, or RB. <laughs> I think it's not, I think we're not going to completely lose game engines, but we're going to change the way games are made now. Um, I've been using mostly um, Android Studio for making uh, games with AI now. And I have not been using a, a construct for my projects or Quick Diffusion or Game Maker or whatever. Even GDevelop, I, I, just, I usually use GDevelop all the time. And what I'm, I'm finding is that um, um, I, I can just go to ChatGPT and <laughs> ask for code and I, I, I get code like right away. Um, and you don't even have to know coding. Um, for example, I just made a game for a client and uh, it took me literally, I, I'm not joking, 20 minutes to uh, complete the, the game. Replace the graphics and things like that, but the graphics were also generated by AI, so, so there. So where do you go from here now? I, I wonder. I wonder what's going to happen to Click Diffusion uh, sales and uh, uh, GDevelop. I know GDevelop is not free anymore. I tried it the other day and uh, not not free. I think it's still free, but I think you want to if you want to export now with Cast Money app. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on it. I'm trying to figure out if I should open a new channel for AI game creation or maybe. I should keep posting things here. Continue the regular, uh, I don't know, GDevelop videos, uh, Construct and Fusion, Click the Fusion, but, you know, I know a lot of you guys still use Click the Fusion. I actually still use Click the Fusion for testing, only because it's so fast, you know, you can make things really fast, but now you can also do that with AI as well. So, so that's it, guys. AI is now threatening game developers and we're not threatened so the best thing to do is to actually embrace AI and you know continue to make games the same way I wouldn't panic so far I wouldn't panic because you know uh, there's nothing like making your own pixel art and you know sometimes AI doesn't get it quite right so you kind of don't have all that much control yet but that's changing very fast, but for the time being, if you want details, yeah, it, you have to do it manually. So that's what I wanted to get out there. That I know the whole AI thing is scary for a lot of people, but I think there's still room for uh, game engines. So, but until then, this is it. <laughs> All right, guys, so just a quick thought. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.